Hey guys, this is Critical Hit Koala. Sony just released the patch for the PlayStation 5 to run Horizon Zero Dawn at 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5. I absolutely had no idea this patch was coming out. Uh, to tell you the truth, I was looking forward to it because I played uh, Horizon Zero Dawn uh, about two years ago. I absolutely loved it. But I was waiting for the PS5 to get an update for so long um, that about actually two months ago I went ahead and bought the PC version um, because I really really wanted to experience um, um, Horizon Zero Dawn at a high frame rate. Well, lo and behold, uh, the patch came out today and it's looking good guys. Um, ironically, my character on this uh, on the PlayStation 5 or on the PlayStation was pretty nice but I did 100% it on PC so it's weird coming back to this game and realizing just how like, um, bad my character is on, uh, PlayStation compared to the PC version. But, uh, I wanted to do some quick gameplay. Running at, um, or show you guys a frame rate update. It's on to me. And show you guys how it looks. Ow. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I played this game recently, but I'm still sucking. Oh wait, I think maybe because I, uh, I'm not using my normal gear. Oh, here. Let's do this. Oh, I get away from me! Oh. Falling over. Oh no, he is not. Let's do one more. I don't think this is going to kill him right here, though. No, there it is. I should lose it first. That's normally what I do on PC, but... But yeah, this, um... I'm actually pretty envious of anyone who's going to, uh... Play Horizon Zero Dawn for the first time on their uh, their PS5. I know Sony recently just uh, gave the game away for free. I think um, all you had to do was claim it on PlayStation Plus or something like that, or PlayStation Now, and you have the uh, full complete version. So if you've never played this game and you have a PS5, you are in for a major treat. This game, along with uh, Ghost of Tsushima and so on, made. Um, and also, Monster Hunter World, if you've never played it, really made uh, the PlayStation 4 and now the PlayStation 5 just incredible. And uh, with um, with Forbidden West coming out soon, there's some potentially really fun games that you guys can uh, will be playing soon. I did come here earlier, and I believe it's really pretty with the water and all that, but let's see how it is. Something that was interesting about the um, the patch is you think it might not work when you start it, because if you go to your settings, it doesn't give you the option to turn on uh, 60 FPS. Um, of course, there was the, um, the thing where I, I didn't read the patch notes. I just kind of downloaded it, but um, if you go to your settings, you go to visuals, it just says unavailable. So if anyone's installing the patch and they're like, hey, why is it not working? It's working. It just says unavailable. But it's fluid. It's really, really nice on the uh, the DualSense, or the, uh, whatever the controller's called on PS5. It's really solid. Frame rate's really good. I noticed the draw distance on the PC version's a little bit better, but I'm not complaining. I mean, there's some pop-in that I didn't experience, but I also played this on, um, on my 3080 Ti, uh, so this is still a wonderful experience. I think, uh, I think there's going to be some really happy people, uh, mostly playing this game for the first time at 60 FPS. Uh, there wasn't much to show you guys. I mean, it's running pretty solid. I will go ahead and say I have an FPS meter built into my monitor. Uh, I've tried doing this recording a couple times, so, um, I will say, it's not, it hasn't dipped under 60 FPS, so I think it's a solid, a solid 60 FPS, and also that um, 
to keep it at 60, they probably do resolution drop or resolution scaling over uh, lowering the frame rates during action sequences. Uh, it runs really nice, 4K60. I hope this uh, uh, I hope this video helps you guys, and catch you guys next time.